Hello gamers and welcome back to my channel. You find me on my break after doing the live stream from Darlington to Saltburn. If you want to check out that live stream, it's on my channel. You'll find it in the live section. But anyways, I have driven this Pacer all the way from Darlington to Saltburn. I've been on a little break and we're going to be driving this Pacer all the way back to Dalton. So let's get off these bus seats and let's get the train started, shall we? I've got the master key in the throttle in. I've got the uh, automatic one and sign in as well. I just need to sit in the cab and switch the engine on. And open up the doors. Now this now this is not free roam because I am working with some AI traffic on timetable so we will be seeing some British Rail 101s 2 car and 3 car but before I walk outside I would just like to let everybody know that this is not a Creators Club livery pacer I've actually taken the time myself to make this livery on livery designer it is a debranded state it has no branding but I managed to make it so without further ado I will show you the livery there we are in all its glory 55739 142089 it took me a while to make this livery I touched it up as best as I could this is supposed to be where the unit information is but it's that small you know I think there's also another part where there's supposed to be unit information behind here, but I forgot to add it. But at the very least, I'm pretty proud of what I've made in the livery designer. But anyways, we're gonna have to be setting for, we're gonna have to set our path for Darlington. Because that is where we are going. Darlington. So let's have a look. I think we want to catch ourselves going to the signal where it clears us. Yeah, that's a good idea. And then we want to go add way go via waypoint. And I don't know why it does this. I have to add via waypoint to make sure that I've got the clear path forward. This just happens a lot more than usual. But anyways, we are going to be aiming for a 10.32 departure. And we'll see what time we arrive at Darlow. This will be split into two parts before I shut the doors. So make sure you stick around for part two. Alright, the next stop is Mask. Um, at least I can pronounce that properly now because in one of my practice live streams, I accidentally said Masky, which it isn't. It's Mask, but I didn't know that. So I now know the correct way to say Mask is Mask and not Masky. If you are new to this channel, I do cover Train Sim World 2020, Train Sim World 2, Train Sim World 4 routes as well. Oh, I forgot to set my camera angles. It's not like me. It's bouncing everywhere, I can't see. There we go. 
I wonder where that line goes. Not entirely sure. Ah, maybe it was the old line that used to connect down to where. Uh, I want to say Live and Sands End in Whitby, maybe down that way. I like these camera angles, they uh, sometimes help me stop at stations pretty good. I've had these camera angles since I was playing on Train Small 2, which was like two years ago. So, these camera angles, they're not new for me, but for some people, you might be like, what are you doing? I'd say that's good enough. It's got a flyby. I want to do these gates actually open. I've seen one at Red Car Central. Those barriers close after I leave to go to Saltburn when I'm in free roam. So when I'm in free roam mode, it's quite cool to see that happen. Anyways, we are taking this nice and slowly because we are on a downwards descent. And I'm already speeding. How about that? It's never a Rex Tactics video without speeding. That's becoming a thing now. I always end up speeding at the beginning during or at the end of the video. It just happens. Anyways, mask should be there. So we can see the footbridge. I'm going to start putting in some brake now because we are on a downwards gradient. Step one application will do. And if we're a little bit faster than we should be by the time we reach the platform, I'll put in some step two brake. I'm not going to lie, I've had a bit of practice. On our way. I know I've had practice, but I wasn't expecting to do it this good. Would have been even more cool if I was right next to a stock car marker. That would just literally complete that. So here we are at Mask. Obviously the passengers don't board because this train is not a timetabled service. It's a free roam service. But you get the principle. We're supposed to stop here. Because no one's getting on, the guard is going to... Do its uh, buzzer thing. We'll shut the doors. And we'll get ourselves going to the next station. Which the next stop is Lombeck. If anything, I've started to get used to driving the trains from the cab instead of on the exterior and camera angles so at some point I might not use the exterior camera angles maybe some point in the future but now we're still going to use them I'm going to put some brakes in now for Lombeck because, if I'm being honest, the last few tries I've done this, I've overshot Lombeck. By a lot. Crossing here. And there we go, a British Rail Class 101. If the British Rail Class 101 is your favourite. There you go, you can see it now. 
can see how easy it is to overshoot Lombeck. Travelling at a step one break and I was still drifting. So that one's going to Saltburn. We've just come from Saltburn. I'm not sure if we're actually supposed to pass at Lombeck upon the 2017 and 2018 timetable, but it doesn't matter. No one's here, no one's getting on, so... Lock the doors, and let's get ourselves going to our next station. I wonder when this one's going to go though, it's probably going to be here for a while, we may as well go back to our pacer then. Another crossing, get a flyby shot, why not? In a moment I will be uh, making a fly by shot but I won't have the speedometer up and it'll be a screenshot for part one probably I think I might do that at Red Car Central to be fair because that's the best place to get a flyby maybe by the crossing area oh, maybe or I might go on the photo mode and do it that way no actually that's not a bad idea Either way, the next stop is Rekar East. I'm going to start putting in some brake now. And we're going to stop for Rekar East, hopefully. And we're not going to overshoot it, hopefully. And second thought, I'm going to need a little bit of step two break here. Just to lower the gap between the speed and the station. There we go. 10.42 arrival. Couldn't have done that again. Probably. We'll just say a few people are getting on. We'll give them a chance to get on. I actually don't know what the route placements I'm supposed to do here. I just jumped straight into the route. I did do the class 101 introduction though, at the very least. But if I'm being honest, the Pacer is a lot easier to drive than the Class 101. I don't know, that's just my opinion. Let's get ourselves going. Sorry if it's getting annoying with me just in my seat all the time. I like to just... Keep the camera straight. Now 
Now just to clarify, we're not actually stopping at South Bank in this one. We did in the live stream that I did, but we're not going to be doing it now. Ah, we got the crossing. There we go. By this green point, sorry, green bridge, and by the point of this green bridge, platform one of Freka should see this train. Should. Alright, but before we uh, make it to platform one, I'm going to be grabbing a pick real quick. Alright. Photo mode. Um... Nah. Hmm. It's kind of hard because I don't know what angle I really want. Then again. Uh, no, it's a little outdated that camera angle. No. This is a little hard. I think we'll not do that. I've certainly stopped way too far away from what the Pacers used to stop at Red Car. If anything, they used to go all the way down to the bottom of, I think about here, but the problem I have is, this is 1980s Red Car Central, so it doesn't have the uh, ticket office, obviously, and it's not all modernised either, so we'll just stop where we stop. I think we could try a, another time, but this time we'll try and... Hmm, that doesn't work. If only that did. But then... Just put in the field of view just a little bit less. About here. Alright, we'll use that. Uh, discard. Because its liveries can't send it to um, rail fan uploads. Even though. Uh, I made this myself. Trends in World probably doesn't have the license to put it on um, the game as a rail fan shot. Well, off we go to Middlesbrough, which is the next stop. Um, because I'm following the 2017 and 2018 timetable, we will not be stopping at stations such as... <clears throat> Red Car British Steel, South Punk, Grangetown, Cargo Fleet, 
No, I've done it the wrong way around. We will not be stopping at Wreckhard British Steel, Grange Town, South Bank, Cargo Fleet. We'll not be stopping at any of those stations because the only two stations that existed in the 2017 and 2018 timetable was Wreckhard British Steel and South Bank. Cargo Fleet, I do not remember, and Grange Town, I don't think ever had a station in the 2017 and 2018 timetable. That's as far as I can remember. The reason why I'm choosing the 2017 and 2018 timetable is because that's the timetable I do remember travelling on the Tees Valley line on, like, years ago. So I'm trying to, like, mimic the timetable, if you get the meaning. It makes sense, really, because they've changed the timetable... Like, they do, it, they do a timetable change every year, don't they? So, the, 20, the 2017 to 2018 departures and arrivals at several stations will probably, a lot, will probably be a lot different now, I imagine. Anyways, this is Red Car British Steel. I might get a flyby shot of this. I won't pause the game though. I'll be checking at the end of this part to see how that turned out. Around here, we've got the old industries of, uh, of um, Red Car British Steel and Grange Town. I'm just putting that there because that's the stations in between these two. I actually don't know um, if Grange Town actually had any steel works or something like that. Don't know. But Rekha British Steel does give it away that it does, because obviously steel's in the name. And if anything, I've noticed this pace of travels a lot faster than the Class 101s. I don't know, I wonder if that's just my assumption. But I've certainly noticed that. I will note that I have a few liveries downloaded from the Creators Club for the Class 101s and for a few Class 37s as well. So you probably might see them. The liveries from the Creators Club are not mine, they are other people's. So I do not own those liveries at all. That's just my quick disclaimer. Oh, I didn't see that. This is supposed to be Grange Town, apparently. I might actually have a look at some old pictures of Grange Town Station after this. Just to, like, get a just of uh, where the station was and if it was actually close to South Bank or not. I don't know. I'll give us a flyby shot of us passing South Bank at the very least. I won't be trying to take a photograph either. Oh, I remember that tall building. Darman Long, I think? 
Is that what they called it? Can't remember. Either way, South Bank. Let's get a flyby shot, shall we? Wonderful. That's also supposed to be the old South Bank station before they moved it. I wonder what caused them to move it in the first place. Who knows? Yeah, I'm still speeding. That hasn't changed. We've got a 56 coming through. Plus we've got a station that makes a wide opening curve, so we want to at least be at a safe speed before we even approach that curve, which is just there. Well, I'm down for the 60 anyways. I think this decision was quite smart. There we go, we can have a look at us going past cargo fleet. crossing there? Yeah, why not? Oh, look at that! They work as well! That is amazing! Oh, we didn't get to see red cars, did we? I apologise. You, you probably might see red cars crossing work in the live stream that I made. Maybe. Although I can't remember if I recorded that or not. I maybe might have not. I don't know. Either way, we will shortly be arriving at Middlesbrough. Slowing down for the 40. All right, there's an over train in the station. And this is Middlesbrough. Now I'm yet to figure out if Middlesbrough is the halfway point or not of this map. Hmm. It's not. So what is then? Maybe... Thornaby? Is Thorn to be the halfway point of this route? No, I didn't think so either. Well, that'll be it for part one. This is where part one terminates. But do stay tuned for part two because that should be releasing probably a few days after this, maybe? 
or it's on the next release. <clears throat> but either way, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please do comment down below what you thought. Subscribe if you haven't already. We are trying to hit 1k. Give us a like. Please do remember that part 2 is also on its way as well. And I will see you all in part 2. With all that being said and done. Peace out gamers.